Welcome back to Insurmountable. We just completed this mission. Now it's time to do this one. I thought it was larger than the one we did before, but actually I think it's the same, except it says there's a great deal of dangerous terrain on this mountain. So more dangerous terrain than normal, I guess. We have normal weather and thin air. I'm kind of worried about my choice of flashlight since it says there's a particularly large amount of dangerous terrain. Because of that, I'm thinking it might be a good idea to take the safety rope, maybe? Hmm. I could ditch the O2. I don't want to ditch the flashlight. I could ditch the O2 and just hope I find more O2 canisters. I haven't had much trouble finding more canisters, to be fair. That would give me enough for actually two safety ropes if I wanted. Hmm. I mean, I think I maybe do. It says there's going to be a lot of dangerous terrain. Yeah, I hope I don't regret this, but let's pack two safety ropes. Let's go. I really hope I don't regret that. Please find canisters. Please find canisters. You head out again into the unknown. There's our goal all the way up there. Let's start collecting some equipment and stuff. I love the beginnings. Everything's maxed. Everything's fairly flat. You don't really need to worry about too much. Transport case. See the outline of a large rectangular object concealed underneath an old parachute. You gingerly lift the stained, tattered fabric to find a metal case. Maybe it was used to transport goods? Search it. The case is empty. Oh. Oh yeah, they weren't kidding about that large amounts of dangerous terrain. Christ. Like, I guess I'm just already going to use my safety rope. You're trudging across a snow-covered plain when your boot catches on something stretching lengthwise along the ground. You're stunned to discover a thick black cable. Why is it here and where does it lead? Oh, I think last time I didn't have the energy or something to do this. I'm going to follow the cable. It leads you to the edge of a small canyon. You can see that it runs down the sheer canyon slope, ultimately disappearing into a pile of rubble at the bottom. It seems clear that there is an avalanche here. Is it worth climbing down to take a look? Yeah, do it. Actually, I think we did do this before. Um, but this outcome's different. You gently probe the ledge with the toe of your boot. The rock seems like it will hold. When you shift your weight, however, a large chunk of the rock comes loose and crashes to the bottom of the canyon with a loud boom. A desperate leap at the last second is all that saves you from hurtling down into the depths along with it. Your hands tremble. Your legs are jelly. No, this is too risky. You'd better focus on the task at hand. 24, end of mission, end of mission. Well, I'm really worried about oxygen, so let's take controlled breathing. Let's sprint so we don't use up the safety rope as fast. Fragile ice. This is new. You reach the shore of a frozen mountain lake. On the embankment, you find what remains of a camp. You take a look around, but there's nothing useful in sight. Or is there? Just a few yards from from you, on the sheet of ice, you spot an um. Blah, 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 can't talk. Um, just a few yards from you, on the sheet of ice, you spot some unopened canned food. Do you want to retrieve it? Mm, yes. 
There is a creak as you set foot on the ice. Fine cracks form beneath your boots, spreading in a spider web across the ice. Oh. Nah, turn around. Not worth it. Don't just want to sleep in the cave. I want to use my flashlight. Oh. That reminds me, I should equip my flashlight. I don't know if it needs to be equipped to use it during a event. Probably not. Oh, this one doesn't have anything special to investigate. Well, I guess we sleep. As you gaze around, you notice a faint light in the distance. It flits back and forth, up and down. Let's approach it carefully. As you get closer, you realize it's fireflies. What a beautiful and unexpected light show. A ruined station. At the foot of a slope, you stumble across the remains of a building. Did it belong to the occupying forces? Parts of it are completely buried under rock. There must have been a landslide. Between the rubble, you can see a few electronic devices in small metal containers. You could go down there and search for provisions. Yeah, search. You're walking carefully over the rubble when your attention is grabbed by a scrap of cloth. You move closer and discover human remains. You breathe in sharply, shocked, and try not to disturb the body. Who was this person? Were they part of the occupying force? Or a looter like you? You decide to turn back immediately before you end up like this poor soul. Uh, get more from waking up, or we get temperature for using items. Hmm. Let's get more from waking up. Let's use the safety rope again. Oh, someone who's injured. Let's find out what's wrong with them. Mm, another dislocated shoulder. Ah, can we get an oxygen bottle? Yes! Do I want to head up or not? I think I do want to head up. Man, we are losing temperature fast. I guess because it's... Yeah, it's cold right now. Like, especially cold. Nearby an abandoned camp, there are some va vacuum flasks filled with tea. Mm. Oh, it's going to absolutely wreck our temp if we search the tents thoroughly. Even if I just take a quick look around, it's going to do the same. Let's just continue. Comment. 
Exhausted, you roll your head back. You gasp and your pupils dilate as a comet flies over you, its bright tail stretching miles behind it. What a spectacle. You're overwhelmed with emotion. Sanity and XP. Mm. I don't want sleeping under the stars because I'm not going to sleep under the stars, I hope. More oxygen. I feel like I'm pretty far off of actually getting into the death zone. Maybe just experience gain for the next 48 hours? Let's use the safety rope again. Okay, hold on. Ah, I shouldn't have used the safety rope, because I'm realizing I should maybe sleep. Because of my temperature. Just, ow, my temperature. I shouldn't be out during this cold, but I already used my rope. And I don't want to waste it. Let's get to the top here and just see what we can see. We're just below the death zone. I want... Cave. Maybe it is worth it to go over here. Actually, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Sprint. I'll lose less temperature getting there. Shrine. Health or energy? Well, that's easy. Energy. Rope still active. Yep. Oh my god, this temperature is horrible. How much more does it increase your body temperature loss? You trip and bang your knee. Cursing up a storm, you kick the rock you tripped over, revealing a crack in the ground. It seems as though someone had used the crack to hide their possessions. Ooh, do I spend that much energy just to make the crack bigger? Yeah, let's do it. You reach into the crack. You graze something with your fingertips. It feels like a thin book of some sort. The frozen earth has not been kind to it. You skim the handwritten notes. They were penned by another mountaineer over 50 years ago long before the island's existence became public knowledge. And there's more. Someone has stashed provisions here. Ooh, another tent. Mm, sleeping without a tent, not gonna happen. Gain more from waking up. Or better oxygen stuff. Mm. At the moment, I'm more worried about body temp. So let's take it slow. We'll get more body temperature from sleeping, which I think I'm going to do right now. Oh man, we're still not going to get that much back. Yeah, I'm like just about to be in the danger zone temperature wise. And I don't even have a hot tea. But at least it's a normal clear day. Oh yeah, so now we're actually gaining temperature. Just by moving. That's a lot better.
that event. Oh, plus 3% energy cost on all terrain. Transport case, search it. We got some climbing gloves, minus 10% energy cost on all terrain. In a cave. Ah, oh, yes, we can follow the light. Oh, we still are not getting a chance to use our flashlight. I'm really surprised. Get some fireflies. Do I need to sleep long? I don't, but I might as well sleep through the night and get more body temperature back, I guess. Oh, there's another cave. Oh, there's two caves there. I think I want them. Wait, why am I losing body temperature now as I move? What changed? It's nighttime. Is it actually colder at night? I mean, I know it should be, but... I feel like it hasn't explicitly said that it does. I guess it does, though. Explore a fault. Yes, I can use my flashlight. <sighs> yes. We oh, get another O2 bottle. Okay, I'm not worried about oxygen now. Do we want to sleep? I guess. End of mission, you get body temperature with consumables. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, that's a weird nasty route. And I think we want to use safety rope for that. There's a smell. Mm, we don't find anything except tufts of fur and bones. Well, our temperature's looking pretty good now. Oh, there's yet another cave. There's so many caves around here. Lots of people to talk to around here. Backpack concealed under a thin layer of snow with boot prints leading away from it. Follow the tracks. Grab the backpack and follow the tracks. You spot a tent sheltered from the wind between two sheer rock faces. You cautiously approach and poke your head inside. It's abandoned. And sadly, the backpack contains nothing but an empty brandy bottle. You're disappointed and you hope nothing terrible happened to this unknown mountaineer. Get more body temperature back with consumables. Ooh, or for 48 hours, get plus 100% experience. Let's get that.
that. It's so bright. Energy cost for climbing increased because there's a storm. Hmm. You enter an open hut. Glowing coals in the fireplace indicate that it's inhabited, but the owner appears to have fled. On the table behind the door, you find an oxygen mask. An offering? Your inner voice urges you not to only take, but also to give. What will you leave in its place? Hmm. I think it's worth it to have the oxygen mask and give up an oxygen bottle. That is incredibly nasty terrain. Rope. There's a goat. You encounter a common mountain goat. It's nibbling on some herbs. I approach it in a friendly manner. I mean, it's probably going to be scared of me. The goat looks at you blankly. You decide to continue walking. <laughs> Fair enough. Another cave. Also another one I can't explore. Okay, we're going to be maxed on temp after this. Well, almost maxed. How many uses of the rope do we have left? Just one. Okay. There's our ghoul up there. Nice shrine. We get back... Yeah, we're good on warmth now. Let's get back energy. Yeah, kind of an awkward thing. Do I want to go around to get that? I didn't realize there's another cave right there. Yeah, let's go to the cave. No! Well, I guess we're going to sleep it off. Sprained ankle for 16 hours. <laughs> I should sprint. Sprint with a sprained ankle. I should just... If you do that, that should just insta-kill you. Oh no! Now it's the same goat. But it's at night. You once again encounter a common mountain goat. It's standing behind a rock and using its head to point emphatically in the direction you're walking. Is it trying to warn you? Mm. Animals are wise. I'm hiding behind the rock too. Walking just a few feet ahead of you is a large wildcat. It notices neither you nor the goat. Oh, thank you goat. I love you. Oh, what a nice goat. Oxygen, sleeping under the stars, or more body temperature per hour when moving. Hmm, that's nice. More body temp per hour when moving. Oh, yeah, let's get that. There's a smell, follow it. We get some sanity and some XP. I guess I'm just going to sleep short because I don't want to sleep away the whole day. And we don't need the energy.
probably worth getting. Oh, we still have our sprained ankle. Shrine, we get back. Well, we don't really need anything. Warmth, I guess. Come on, I want to break my leg on one of these. Like, I've already sprained it. Let's finish the job. Sprain's about to disappear. It's gone. An expansive cave. Beautiful stalactites. I think this might be new, actually. Countless stalactites hang from its ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of the stalactites onto the rocks and into the pools below. The soothing tinkling sound they make as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. The rock formations must be many thousands of years old, dating back to before the first traces of people on this island. Makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You too are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something people will talk about for years to come. Hmm, good amount of sanity back. Bizarrely shaped masses of ice and snow, and several tents not far away. Hmm. Camp, tent, or check the slope. Let's check the slope. Columns of ice shimmer blue, a sight that brings tears of joy to your eyes and fills you with respect. As you're walking, one of the ice spikes breaks off and comes crashing down next to you. You stand rooted to the spot. Your body would have been crushed if the ice hadn't missed you by mere feet. You decide not to push your luck and to continue on your journey. Some more sanity. Under the stars, warm thoughts, more body temp with consumables. Mm. Let's get warm thoughts. I'm lucky this campsite is just one tile below the death zone. Explore the fault. Use my flashlight. Yes. We have a... Is that a third tent? Oh my god. Wow. We kind of have too many tents. Jesus. Imagine carrying three tents. My backpack must be so huge. Sleep for a long time. Well, I guess we're about to make a dash for it, huh? Let's ascend as quickly as possible. We've got a good amount of energy. That's going to reduce our energy even more. Mm. How long does it last for? Eight hours. It's also sprint. There's a lot of nasty terrain, so let's also safety rope. And let's just 
do it. Okay, there's a lot of dead ends, though. Hold on. No, this is horrible. Oh, I can't even... <laughs> it won't even let me see the summit. It's like there, kind of. I don't know, let's just go there and then see what we can see. Yeah, looks like we can go up this way. Super long climbs, but I don't want to move too many tiles and have my safety rope expire. So let's just take the most direct path. Well, nearly the most direct path. Boost of everything. It's not too far away. God knows if we have any ailments, we can sleep it off. Safety rope is still active for a little bit. Okay, so that's not a dead end. Yeah, our oxygen is so good because of our mask, I think, and the bonuses we've taken. I'm feeling like we're not in any great danger, so I'm going to be a little bit lazy here and just take like a very direct route just to kind of try to gather some more XP with events. I know we're not completely out of danger yet, but I don't know. I'm feeling good about this. I mean, three tents? Fresh snow is piled high ahead of you on a mountainside. There must have been an avalanche here. As you trudge through the heaps of snow, your gaze falls on a vacuum flask of tea. Mm, oh, if I, my god, if I dig this, going to take 53 temperature, 6 hours? No. I'm also not just going to take it. Let's just sleep. It's very cold right now. Follow the noise, use my flashlight. We get some canned food. Sleep long. Not worried about oxygen anymore. Oh, but that reduces time cost on all terrain when your oxygen is above 60. Hmm. It may be. Increases my temperature. I'm not worried about temperature. But yeah, let's get fresh air. I know we get more XP for going over dangerous terrain as well, so screw it, break my leg, take a straight, terrible route, whatever. 
The snow beneath your feet gives way. You fall, but not far. You land at the bottom of a flat, snowy crevice. Oh, minus 30 temperature. That's not good. Ooh. Ruin station. Search through the rubble. XP and some bandages. A flower. Something catches your eye, covered with a fine layer of ice. The bright colors of a mountain flower shine out from between the rocks. You bend down over the petals and inhale the delicate fragrance. A warm feeling of happiness streams through you. Hmm, some sanity. Oh, there is a pathway that heads over there. Okay. It's going to take a massive amount of energy, though. I think we should sleep. I don't really want to sleep in a death zone. Yeah, I'd rather not. Let's eat some food. The energy cost is increased because it's a storm. Maybe we can get some energy back from here. Nah, just warmth or sanity. Both are good. Um. Hmm. Let's go with the warmth. Oh, is that a dead end? Oh no, we can go this way. Yeah, we're out of the death zone now. Let's get all these events. Get a bunch of XP. Oh, there's four here. Nice. Someone injured. Oh, I don't have the energy to actually check on them, so... Either steal their oxygen bottle or just continue. Sorry. Just gonna continue. Oh, these are all yellow tiles. Nasty. Oh, really nasty. I don't have any rope left. Oh, well. Hmm. I can't leap out of the way because I'm too tired, so I just don't move. We take some damage. Sanity or warmth? Let's get sanity. Heart of the Explorer. Let's... Thoroughly search. You find a thick book bound in leather. Oh, this is the book of the um, Yeti. Okay, let's sleep. Should be nice weather tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. Ah, should take a lot less energy to move around now. Search the camp. Climbing gloves. We already have those. I 
Oh, gigantic footprints again. Let's carefully climb into the crevice. Yeah. Oh, we sprained our knee. Or ankle, rather. Oh, we got some insulated boots. It's not going to take effect for very long, so none of these really matter, to be honest. Fragile eyes. Yeah, try to get the food, is it? Keep trying, sure. Oh, we got two things of food. Nice. Oh, a dead mountaineer. Lying on the ground are two dead mountaineers. It looks like they haven't been there for long. You recognize the symbol on their clothing. It's the same as the one on the tent that you plundered. Oh. Can't quite make it there. Let's eat some food. Now we're good. That was the quickest mission I've done by far. I feel like we're going to get a good amount of XP. Yeah, I'm just looking at what gives you the most XP. Some of these things are pretty small, like items used, equipment, they don't give you much. But it looks like the big ticket items, aside from just the mission itself, the big ticket items, as far as things you can do in the mission, are Dangerous Terrain Crossed, that's a lot of XP. The amount of events you experienced and level ups gained. So yeah, Dangerous Terrain and Events are where most of the XP is at, it looks like. Finally, you're back. I've been waiting for you. You've learned a lot out there. I think the time has come to take the next step. The stone reacts to electromagnetic radiation. During the experiments that were conducted here, it must have overheated and imploded. That must have caused the anomalies and triggered the time loop. Essentially, all we have to do is repeat the experiment. Obviously, there's a catch. All the technical devices we need are dead now. Totally unusable. But there's another way. Did you notice the antenna on the next peak? Not only is the radiation stronger over there, the antenna also intensifies it. If we subject the stone to enough radiation, it might overheat again and reverse the time loop. I mean, I admit it's just a theory, but right now it's our only hope. You hesitate. What happens if you refuse? After all, scaling a mountain isn't exactly a walk in the park. On the other hand, you really want to find out more about the mysterious antenna-like structure. Why was it built? What was its purpose? The stranger smiles at you as though she's read your mind. Feel free to rest, or, or to keep preparing. I know this task seems daunting. But you can do it. I'm sure of it. Oh, well, thanks. Okay, we have some terrain knowledge. 
Mm, let's get some improved protection from terrain interruption events. Sounds nice. Yeah, I feel really good about the flashlight. I think that's a good call to bring it for the caves. Um, the safety ropes were definitely nice as well when it specifically specifies. Specifically specifies, nice. When it specifically specifies that there's dangerous terrain. That mission felt short enough that I want to do another. Let's do this one, a scientist on a mission. There are reports of a scientist who is also caught in the time loop. His expertise could be very valuable to your efforts. Of course, you'll need to convince him to join you first and then take him to the station. Find the scientist and take him to the station. Yeah, so this is going to be our first mission where we don't have to get to the summit. Unless the scientist happens to be on the summit, which would be kind of weird. It's not really where you want to go when you're trying to be rescued. Or you're stuck or anything like that. Let's see. Normal weather. And anomaly. Increased time cost when moving. Plus 10% time cost. Eh, it's fine. So this doesn't specify that there's dangerous terrain, so I don't think we need both of these. Let's take an oxygen model. The mysterious woman tells you about another mountaineer wandering around the mountain. He probably walked straight into the time loop just as cluelessly as you did. There's some information that indicates he might be a scientist. You want to find out more and convince this stranger to come with you. He could be quite useful in helping to find a way out of the time loop. Oh, wait. They are on the summit? Because that looks like the summit. Okay. Guess the scientist is on the summit then. Hmm... Oh, there's a lot of caves. I obviously don't need to sleep. But I do have a strong urge to use my flashlight. Follow the wind. Mm. What happens? We find a corpse riddled with stalactites. Oh. You rummage through the fur pouch he was carrying. You find provisions and hastily tuck them into your pack. Then you turn to leave. This place is just too dangerous. We lost a lot of temperature, but we did get some canned food. Maybe I should lie down to sleep to get my temperature back? Hmm. Nah. I don't know if it's worth going down there for those events. Perhaps not. Saddlebag. Faded hoof prints, and in it we find an intact tent. Nice. Nobody in sight, but the embers in the fire pit are still glowing. Let's continue. Not gonna steal. Explore the tunnel. Use my flashlight. Does not have to be equipped. We get a bandage and canned food. Sweet. Now shall we sleep? I suppose so. Twenty-four, twenty-four, end of mission. Better oxygen. Let's get that. Hmm. 
Wait, can I actually get by there? Oh, you can. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see a couple more caves. Are they worth it? I think they are. Like, my prevailing strategy seems to be flashlight and caves. <laughs> That's it. You give me a flashlight, give me some caves, I'm good. I got this. Rough stone. We break your leg. I don't even care. You know why? I have a cave. Who cares if your leg's broken or sprained or whatever? You got a cave. You follow the light and then you feel pretty, pretty good. You know, just sleep it off. End of mission. Just one end of mission, you get more from waking up. Oh, no, these are, these are bad. It's a storm, some more energy for climbing. Spot a deer stand between two skeletal trees just ahead of you. As you consider walking over to the deer stand to search it for provisions, you hear a rumbling. It sounds like an avalanche. You see the snow cloud on the horizon. It's heading straight for you. Ah, search the deer stand. You rush to the deer stand, but the rungs of the ladder have rotted through. You spot a broken crate on the ground. As you go to inspect the contents, you hear a whimper. An arctic fox is caught in a net and won't be able to escape without your help. By now, the rumbling of the avalanche has become a deafening roar. You need to hurry. Oh, we free the fox, of course. Oh, that gave us a uh, good conscience. 24 hours. Plus half a point of sanity per hour when moving. And plus 50% sanity gain in events. Nice. Oh, there's someone here. Can I shine my flashlight in their eyes? Does that guarantee a good event? I mean, it's rude, but I just want to use my flashlight, you know? Let's just lay down to rest. Let's not be a weirdo. Oh wow, I really can't see anything. Let's actually equip the flashlight. Oh, I thought this was the way through. Oh no, it's not. This is a dead end.
a little worried this is secretly going to be a dead end. No. No, it's not. Okay. Abandoned camp. There are a couple of empty oxygen bottles. You could take the time to search the tents. Hmm. Let's thoroughly search the tents. Two bottled oxygen tanks. Whoa. Okay, well, we are set on oxygen. Yeah, we have really good consumables. Now I just need equipment. Maybe explore the mountain, plus 75% experience gain for 48 hours. And then let's sleep out this storm. Now it's a nice day. We can see less energy cost. Well, I mean, we can see weather-wise. Camera-wise, we can't see Jack. I really would like more equipment before we get into the death zone. Not seeing that much though. Hey, can you actually make this climb? Oh my god. Holy crap. That might be the steepest climb I've ever seen. That's like all your energy bar. Bloop. <laughs> Christ. Can I head this way? Maybe there's more vents that way. Oh, sneaky little shrine. Spiders, reach into the hole. Mm, equipment. Oh, well, kind of. Climbing rope. Sanity or warmth? I think sanity. Our sanity is pretty low, and I don't think we have any herbs. Do we? No. Oh, I see a couple glowy ones over there. glowy ones over here. It's too bad those don't give you equipment, though. Still totally worth it. Health or energy? Energy. Distant melody reaches your ears, soft and tender and beautiful. 
You close your eyes for a moment, breathing deeply and evenly. You keep listening. The music seems to be coming from inside the mountain. Could it be yet another legacy of the occupiers? Or maybe its origins are more mysterious. Whatever it is, it makes you smile. Oh, good amount of sanity. Better oxygen. More from waking up. Or minus 12% time cost on all terrain. Hmm. These are all good. But we're really good on oxygen, so I'm not worried about controlled breathing. So take it slow. Sanity or health? Sanity. Okay, her sanity's pretty good now. Mm. We're about to reach the death zone. I think I'm gonna sleep. And I think I'm going to sneeze, excuse me, in advance. Wait, it's going away. <laughs> Wait, no, there it is. Hmm. Let's use the climbing rope. 40% <clears throat> less energy cost. Let's sprint so it lasts longer. In a rocky hollow, well protected from the wind and weather, you discover a tent, or what remains of one. There's slashes in it. Um, well, I don't want to spend any time here because I have my things that I just used, so let's just continue. Okay, what do I want? I'm not worried about oxygen. So I guess I should just do the eight hour energy thing. <laughs> eight hour energy. <laughs> a crevice splits the ground in front of you, blocking your way. You risk a glance downwards and notice an old backpack hanging from a ledge. You could try to climb down and grab it. it just takes energy, not time, so sure. Didn't get it, I'm just going to continue. Ah, oh, trapped. Just yank my foot out. Yeah, we're fine. <sighs> Ruined station. Ooh, do I want to spend time? Hmm. No, let's continue. Ooh, there's a couple of caves over there. I don't know if I want to sleep in them, but I definitely want equipment. Fuck. 
follow the wind. We get a nice injured torso. Minus two oxygen per hour when moving. Only when moving. So maybe we do want to sleep. <laughs> Let's see. We're still going to lose oxygen anyway. But we'll just lose a lot more if we're moving. Hmm. No. No, we are, we are not doing that. We are leaving the cave. We are getting out of the death zone and we're going to sleep off our injured torso down here. Sanity or warmth? Hmm. Sanity. Are we going to lose body temperature? Even sleeping in a tent? Damn, that cold is cold. That's cold gold. Yeah, our torso is still injured. Hmm. It's gonna go away pretty soon, though. In front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously piled up to form a mound. A grave so far up here? Let's just reflect and pay tribute to the dead. Whoever that poor soul was who lost their life up here, they shouldn't be disturbed. After a brief stop, you move on. I mean, what was the alternative? Just like, <laughs> uncover the grave? <laughs> like, no. Oh, damn, that is hurting my temperature really badly. I think just because of the time. Hmm. None that lasts the whole time. And none that do heat, unfortunately. Although preserve energy gives you minus 80% energy cost on all terrain, which is nice. Time cost is also kind of in a way heat. When it comes to moving, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, maybe fast movement. Let's just go right up here and see if we can find some equipment. Explore the fault. Flashlight! Yes, I get so happy every time I use my flashlight because I think it's like guaranteed good stuff. Climbing gloves. What's the energy cost? Nice. Do we want to sleep? It's going to make us colder. And it's going to make us have less oxygen. So no. Um, let's just go ahead and use the climbing rope. And let's sprint. And let's just get up there. I pray this is not a dead end. Eh, it's not. Whew. Give me cave, give me cave. I know I'm using my climbing rope, but I don't care. Give me cave. I don't even care if I break my leg. Give me cave. Oh, this is going to wreck my temperature. Wait, do I have... I don't have any hot tea. I don't have any way of warming up. So no, we're burning energy, not heat. Oh, we injured our leg. Oh no. And our body temperature is zero. Shit. Well, nothing we can do about that. Hmm. <laughs> Let's eat some food. I think we're going to take damage over time because of our low body temperature.
Follow the smell. We get some sanity and XP. Okay. I don't think we want to sleep, right? Oh, we actually are going to get body temperature back. We should probably do that. Yeah, I know it's going to wreck our oxygen, but that's fine. Ah, no longer red. Yeah, climbing rope again. Oh, our temperature is going to get screwed up here again. But this will give us some stuff back. You made it to the area where the scientist has supposedly been spotted, even up to the top of the peak. But so far, there's been no sight nor sound of him. Maybe the young woman made it all up, but why would she do that? You take a short breather and notice a used oxygen bottle. Footprints lead away from it in the opposite direction from your path. Hope springs eternal. And we get stuff back. Okay, so that's where the path leads, so that's where the scientist is. I wonder if that means we need to go there and then go to the exit, or what? Hmm... <laughs> Double experience. Or for 16 hours, ignore dangerous terrain. That's really good. I'm going to take that. That's really good. I'm going to ignore dangerous terrain. Oh, that is so good. Hopefully we can get our temperature back here. No, just sanity. We're very sane and very cold. Critical. You feel your feet turning numb from the cold. Ugh. I wiggle my toes to warm myself up. Despite the exercise, you're getting colder and colder. You don't know how much longer you'll be able to withstand it. Ooh. Hurts time, energy, health, and oxygen. Fragile ice. Um, I don't want to spend the energy. This is worth getting, though. Might be able to get warmth. Oh no. The cold creeps under your clothes. When you check your boots, you notice a bluish discoloration on your shin. It extends down to your foot, turning red at the toes where your skin is thin and covered in blisters. When you try prodding your toes, they ooze out a foul-smelling si uh, uh, That's written... I don't think they wrote that correctly. They ooze out a foul-smelling secretion. Strange, it doesn't hurt at all. Should you be worried? Yes. Ow.
Warmth, warmth, warmth. No, I don't want sanity. Uh, can I get any heat? Reduce time cost. That's good. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's for sleeping without a tent. I guess I'll take the time cost thing. But I think I just need to see if I can sleep with that. That will give me some temperature back. I need to take an oxygen bottle. That's fine. I have three. I think we have a bonus when we're over 60 oxygen, I think. So I'm going to take two. Up and over. Whoa, that's going to... Oh, it's going to take all our energy, right? Because we're going super far. Hold on, stop here. Might be worth getting this. If I can get some hot tea. Backpack. Um, I don't want to spend energy, but I have lots of sanity, so search the backpack. Empty brandy bottle, just some XP. Okay. At least it's a nice day, so we're very slightly gaining temperature as we move. Guess I might as well use the bandage. Oh yeah, let's use Sprint because we get a little bit more body temperature per hour when I'm moving with it. A little boost. Old pittens. Climb the wall. No, that's going to take my temperature. That is not worth it. Oh, this will get us out of the death zone. I suspect this is not the end. I think we have to get them and then take them to the station. But it could be, I don't know. A new ally? You spy a tent behind some rocky peaks. It looks like it's in good shape. You slowly creep up to it and look inside. You see a stranger wrapped in a sleeping bag. Next to him is a clipboard containing notes on radiation levels. This must be the scientist. You cough quietly and the stranger invites you in. Without beating about the bush, you tell him about the time loop and your adventures. To your surprise, he lets you finish talking and doesn't call you crazy when you ask if he wants to come with you. When you mention that his notebook seems to say something about electromagnetic nodes, he gives you a knowing smile. Just as you're about to leave, you hear a shrill siren. The green stone in your charm starts to vibrate and glaring light swallows both of you. Oh, that is the end. Okay, good to know. I should have gotten the events around him. Get some bonus XP. I didn't realize I could skip all that by clicking. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. Unlocked a character. We have 10 more capacity. We unlocked fur gloves and climbing gloves. Nice. The way you brave the elements and don't let anything rattle you is just remarkable. You're good. Even better than I expected. By the way, I think it's wonderful that you brought reinforcements. 
and a real expert too. I'm sure we'll learn a lot from each other by working together. We need to become a real team. Yeah, team upgrades. Hmm, reduce body temperature loss in cold weather. That's been bothering me a lot lately. Let's get more sanity from events. Why not? Character-wise, we have a bunch of points to spend on the adventurer and the newly unlocked scientist. So for the adventurer... Hmm... What do I want? Well... Everything. <laughs> Man, you could really become just like a night climber, huh? Like minus 25% energy cost on all terrain at night. That's huge. This whole line here is all about night climbing. You get more body temperature per hour when moving? A lot more. Oh, I kind of like the idea of being a night climber. This raises your max stats. Just looking like, which ones are worth the most? When you're in the death zone, you get plus 2.5 sanity per hour when moving. That's really good. That's a lot of sanity. I feel like the night stuff like has the biggest difference though. These are massive changes. 25% energy plus two body temperature per hour when moving at night. Yeah, I'm getting both of these. Okay, and then we have Scientist. What do we got for you? You seem to have a bigger upgrade tree, it kind of looks like. Ooh, you can increase just, like, all of their stats. Or just their sanity. Scientist is very good at being very sane. Everything's good. Literally everything. Okay, well, I think having an active skill is very important. This spends some time to gain experience. Hmm. Four hours for 500 experience. It's good. That's a, this allows you to see further. Spend sanity to gain a temporary buff of your choice. I wonder what the buffs are. Whenever you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain 15 energy. Ooh. That's a lot of energy. That's very good. Is that the upgraded version of it? Yeah, that is. Gain 30 energy. That's... Very good. That's a lot of energy. Jesus, what do I go with? <laughs> I don't know. I'm curious about this temporary buff thing. If I'm going to get that, though, I should probably do something that improves my sanity, because that takes sanity. Whenever you use a consumable, gain four sanity, so that would work. I could also just increase my max sanity. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the gain four sanity thing. Dangerous event thing. And let's increase, let's increase base stats, because that increases our sanity and everything else. Yeah, and let's get it again. Sweet. Oh, we have so many items to choose from now. And more capacity. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to unlock the journalist character. <laughs>